Here's a fun one. So for every player in my game, I'm doing player.eliminate player. And seemingly, I'm not getting any errors. But if you try to do this, you would likely get something like this, unknown member in eliminate player. This is because player is a class, but we can see here we have no visible functions, at least that we as the programmer can use. So trigger is a class and in here we have a bunch of functions which we can use with a trigger device. For example, here I can call trigger.trigger .trigger because as you can see here, trigger is a function belonging to the trigger device class. Basically what I did is create my own function that belongs to a player class, which is known as an extension function. So if I weren't using extension functions and I wanted to eliminate a player, I can make a function like this called eliminate player, which takes in a player. We can do eliminate player and then pass in a player from the array. But if you want to make an extension function, you can, instead of putting the arguments inside, you can go up here and put them before the function and then put a dot preceding the function. So here it's as if the player class or whatever type in here has this new function, in this case, eliminate player. And then you notice here this layer y, which is the variable. And in here we can just reference the variable and do with it whatever we please. And that's why I can call player.eliminate player. So to define an extension method, we first pass in the variable name, followed by the type, and we enclose this in parentheses. Then we follow it by a dot. And then after that, just define a function as you normally would. You can even pass arguments in here. So for example, let's say damage of type float. You can see here now we expect an argument which is the damage, so I can do 100.0, and that's all nice. And what's cool about these is they work with any type inverse. So for example, if I wanted to make a function that calculates the square root of a number, number, remember we pass in the name of the variable, then the type integer dot square print number, uh, number. A number integer here, what I could do here is do numbero dot square, and you can see that's going to compile. But that's basically it. As always, I hope this was helpful, and yeah.